Okay, game number one of the league. It is Team Whiteout here in red, which is Sean Shot and Rhino, who is invisible. They're using the Ender Dragon and Surprise class versus Tirso and Jedi, who are using the Archer and Rim Reaper class. One Titan kit per team, Rim Reaper and the Ender Dragon. And the game is going to start now. So it, they are off. Um, oh, wow. Sean blew, hit him, got himself in the fire there at the beginning of the game. Don't know where Rhino is uh, at the moment because... Oh, he's going for the minecart. You can see him there. He gets shot by Jedi. And Tirso gets the kill there. So Jedi and Tirso off to a good start. Starting off the game. As they're going to get it to push it into kind of the midsection. Um, and they're going to get a gang up on Sean, or Rhino and light him on fire. Sean is back. They're fight, fighting, shooting back and forth at each other. Sean gets lit up on fire by Tirso, and Jedi gets a free push to the middle because of that nice support play. They're getting a pretty far push at the beginning of the game. Rhino gets the kill, though, on Tirso, leaving just Jedi, the archer, to fight for himself. He gets killed. Uh, how far? Tirso's still a bit off on the recovery coming back, it looks like. Um, no, he's right there, actually. He gets killed, though, by Rhino. Uh, Jedi trying to kill Rhino. He can't get the kill, which is going to cost them a bit of time as Rhino's going to get a far push here. Um, and Jedi misses that arrow, I think, I believe. Oh, but he does get Rhino to go off the minecart. And he does get Rhino there at the end. Uh, Sean coming back into play. Tirso kind of fought him off the minecart a bit there at the beginning. Um, him and Tirso kill each other there. And Jedi has a bit of a free push through the tunnel. Not sure where Rhino is, though, at the moment. I'm guessing Rhino went the wrong way there. Yes, he did. He's behind Jedi. Uh, and Tirso's going to get the kill on him. Tirso doing a lot of work this game so far. And Jedi getting the push off, pushing it back towards into their own territory. Sean gets the kill, though, there. And as the Ender Dragon, he starts to push it again. It's a 2 on 0 push here. Um, meaning that it seems like Rhino's probably going to be able to defend. Yep, nice defense there, defending the minecart there. For Sean, you get a long push here, almost all the way back to mid, and that's really good for that team as it keeps them back in this game as they were down by quite a lot. Rhino, however, does get killed, and they do trade, so it's going. Sean, or Rhino's going to have to hurry on and get back to prevent a large push back. Uh, but, oh, Jedi loses the minecart there, and Rhino's there anyways, so... They do avoid a disaster there and are able to keep themselves in the game here. Um, the minecart is shot. I'm going to replace that. Uh, <laughs> and um, they're going to continue fighting amongst themselves. Nobody really going for the minecart. Rhino currently has an arrow in him, so I can see why. And they're going to get killed there. Sean get, gets the last kill there. Tirso overgoes the Ender Pearl, meaning Sean has a free push going for mid now. And they are they going to get their first lead of the game? They are. This is the first time the entire game they've led. Tirso hit the ground too hard trying to go after Sean. And Sean, another kill. Sean going off right now on a three-kill streak here. And he's probably about to die at this point. Yep. Uh, but, oh, Rhino gets shot there, and so does Sean. Tirso dies, though, but it's Jedi on the minecart now, trying to recover and bring it back to the, the other side of mid. Rhino's a bit off. So is Sean. This is close, though. Jedi retakes the lead back for his team. It must be nearing the end of the game right now. Oh, it's about halfway through, it looks like. Um, and the minecart gets broken again. Sean getting the push here. And he is going to get it through mid as they take back the lead here. Back to an even game. Nice recovery by this team. Good big push by Sean in the game. And um, they're going as well. Rhino gets a hit on Jedi, but it doesn't matter. And Tirso just gets a bit of a push on the minecart, pushing it back. It is staying in the sand biome in the middle, though, right now. A nice double kill there by Sean. Sean has really started to go off at the end of this game. Um, after the beginning part, he's really put his team back in the game. Rhino gets shot by Jedi, it seems, uh, as he was over keeping him at bay, though, on the other side. And uh, Tirso oh, keeping Sean at bay to give Jedi a minecart push, but here comes Rhino after him. And they're going to keep just barely in the lead right now. Um, but uh, Jedi gets a bit of a push, able to get it across middle before getting killed by Rhino. Uh, Tirso and Rhino going after each other, um, but Rhino gets the kill there. He's probably going to die from fire damage. Um, actually, he doesn't. He must be very low, though. And he's going to get another kill there on Tirso. Nice, nice play there by Rhino now stepping in. 
and they are taking the lead in this game. This team's playing really good, really good individual plays by this team, which is kind of a, a thing I was worrying about before the season started, is they play very good, just not as well together, but they are getting some huge individual plays out in this game, which is really what's keeping them in it. I would say Jedi and Tirzor are definitely playing better as a team, though, so far. Not that Sean and um, Runner are playing that poor, but uh, they do seem to be having very good team play, which is kind of kind of a clash there where these two are really good at working together and the other team is very good individually but not so much as working together anyway they have the lead right now sean and rhino do but it's going back and forth and that's the game that is the game sean and rhino get the first win of the three games seer best of three series and they go ahead they had the first class pick this game meaning that rhino or that jedi and tirso will have the first pick the next game though but i do think that having second pick probably is better so it's going to be a long road back for jedi and tirso in this game and you need to win a lot of your series because uh, you're probably going to need, like, this is a must-win series probably for both teams, even though it's the first series of the thing, if they want to make it to the finals uh, and finish top two in the league. So, a uh, big win there by Rhino and Sean, as we're going to go into game number two. All right, game number two of the Influence League. First series, Sean and Rhino won the first game. They are playing against the Ender Dragon and Ocean Man class as... The Wither and Surprise class, so slight change-ups on both teams, and we'll see how this game goes as we set it to daytime. Tirso with a change, Je Jedi is using a very similar class, except now he's using a Titan kit, so more emphasis on Jedi there. Uh, whereas Sean is using a, um, what class did he use last game? I think this is a very quite a similar class. Oh yeah, he used the Ender Dragon, so yeah, another similar class there. The only real big change was Tirso or who gets killed right off the start there, where he went from a, um, uh, well, he went to another sword-based class, but they basically switched up who was using the Titan there to Jedi. So anyway, he's getting hurt quite bad at the start there. Um, and yeah, another kill by Rhino. Rhino's getting a lot of kills right now. Um, and uh, they're getting quite a bit of pushing, but Rhino did just die to Tear, so nice job picking out the ghosts there. Um, the Wither is right there. It's a two-on-one, though, against the Wither. And Tirso, though, is going to go down. Um, doesn't have much armor. And, um, he is, uh, that's kind of the weakness of that class, which I don't know how good of a, it is going to be in this game, but they can't really switch it up if it doesn't work after this game, as it's all over. The series is done at this point. Uh, he does get a kill there on Rhino. The issue is he gets snuck up on Ghost very, very easily, and doesn't have much armor, and the, again, it's not going to work much better against the Wither class either. So it does a lot of damage, but again, there's a projectile protection on that one class, and you can't even see the other class, so it's really not, you can't just chuck it at it. So, very interesting um, how it's to see how it's going to work out this game. They're losing at the beginning there, but Jedi is going to come out and get this big push off, and he's going to get through middle, and they now have the lead. Uh, Rhino does get the kill off on Tirso, but it doesn't really matter as um, Jedi is giving a big push. He's actually using the jump boost on that class. You don't see people use that very often. Now he's harassing, even though Sean's the Wither. Sean hasn't able to do much against Jedi there, and that's why that kind of speaks to the streakiness of this team. Like I was saying the other game with the individual efforts of them getting a lot of kills and then not getting a lot of kills and just dying over and over again. Um, and the thing is, that's great, but when that both happens to you at the same time, you can you can start falling and lose a lot of ground. Uh, Tirso, a nice kill there by spearing Sean, even though he has the projectile protection. And um, Jedi kind of just waiting there, seeing Rhino, um, just trying to make sure he doesn't die. It's Rhino with a nice come across on the right. I didn't even realize he ran over that fast. That was a nice play by him. And Sean getting stuck kind of in mid. Tirso's just throwing the um, spear at him there. And he's now getting harassed by Rhino uh, from behind. And he's going to get killed there. And um, now it's just Rhino and Jedi as they take each other out. Jedi goes for the minecart push, but Rhino is not having any of that. And he's going to get the kill off on him as they have a slight lead right now, him and Sean. Sean going to get a hit there, knocking Tirso away from the minecart. This team is really going for the minecart here. But they can't do much with the other team. That, that Rhino's just kind of staying alive right now, and they can't do much against him. Rhino does get shot by Jedi, though, trying to shoot Sean there. So that might open up something if they can get a kill off on Sean fairly quickly. And they are, it does look like. So Tirso getting a bit of a push, but I'm not sure how far they're going to get it as Rhino's probably back. They do get it past mid, though, you know, a bit after. 
um, Tirso does not die, actually, there. Um, and uh, Rhino and Jedi kill each other. Sean gets the kill off on Tirso, and he's going to go for a push, trying to get it back across the middle. And he is here. Um, it's a very tight game so far. Uh, Rhino trying to go for a bit of a push there. Tirso trying to take it off of him. He gets it into the cobwebs, though, so it's going to be hard, even if they both die, for Rhino to get a push. But here we go. Tirso... Jedi is just, or Rhino is distracted by Jedi, and Tirso is just going to get a long push out of the sand biome, and that's a long, long push there, and he's going to get the kill off afterwards, but Rhino's there now, and he isn't going to be able to keep pushing it, but Rhino hitting him away from the minecart, and they're actually going to trade kills there, uh, Sean's coming up for the minecart, but Rhino must not be far away, he's just camping in the middle, not letting them get past, interesting strategy there, giving up a little bit of space, but not letting them get past the middle, and Tirso a nice kill there on Sean, and now it's a 2v1 against Rhino, the ghost kit. But they definitely know where he is there. Uh, oh, J Jedi's going to go down, though. And it's so is Tirso. Nice play there by Rhino. It's two kills right in a row. So that's going to be a big push by them. Nice play there by Rhino to get that off. And uh, wow, that really just changed the course of the game there with that nice push there by Rhino. Um, nice double kill play there. I did not see that coming at all. I did not think that they were going to be able to get it. And... Tirso actually got shot by Jedi. That's a big whoops there. And they aren't able to do much right now. This is not going too well for them. And uh, wow, uh, it's deep in their own territory now, Jedi and Tirso. And they better hope because this could be the series right now. They could get their first loss of the season. And considering this was the only team that looked worse than them at the beginning, that's going to be bad. And that is it. That is game. So this is very bad. The only game team that the team the one team that looked worse than them in the tournament, the one team that finished below them, they are going to drop to in the first series of Influence League. And that is great for Rhino and Sean, just what they need to start out. A nice sweep. It did not look good at the beginning of game one, but great effort there at the end of game or at the end of game one and then into game two. It was a close series, but they did win both games and got the victory. Uh, as for MVP of the series, after game one, I would really think it was going to be Sean. Sean really did outplay, uh, did did play a bit better than Rhino. They both had incredible individual efforts. At this point in the series, though, I would say it's Rhino. Rhino definitely stepped up game two. That really great play he made there near the end. There was a great play in game one by Sean as well. But Rhino just seemed overall be a bit better throughout the series. They both played great, um, especially individually. But Rhino is, I think, going to be the MVP of this series using Surprise, both games. And uh, the other team really hates those Invis kits, so they were able to get and u use that to their advantage. Rhino's very good with them, so a nice nice win by the team there. And they're going to head on into their second week of the season. 1-0 for Team Whiteout and 0-1 for Team The Order. So, um, that is the end of the first series of... Mine Coop League Season 1.